just a blade width to top. I got this other one up here. push it this way just a little there all right well you can see that we got quite a bit done today um still have a lot to do we have not even started on the headboard area as you can see um, but we got the frame for the bed itself, which was trickier than you would think, but we got it done. Um, got the slats laid out. We've got this laid out. It's not nailed because I have to take it out and paint it. And we've got the panel for this wall dry fit, but I have to take it out and paint it too. So not nailed in, but enough for today that I think we're gonna call it a day today. We'll pick you up again tomorrow, okay? Okay, spoiler alert. I did not get out here the next day. <laughs> um, it turns out that Scott injured his back and we weren't able to finish the um, headboard, but we did get the bed in and ready. And we're headed out to, um, go to the hill country to my brother and sister-in-law's to get curtains made. So we'll keep up with you and let you see how the progress is going as we get there. All right. See ya. And we're off. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's our maiden voyage. to get here from where we live and um, so we went out this morning and measured and we're about to get started cutting out the panel so wish us luck okay so we bought pre-made curtains get where you can see me <laughs> we bought pre-made curtains and um that are blackout curtains and we're going to use that as the fabric and we've went into the bus and measured all the windows, took all the measurements. And um, so now she's about to start trying to cut each of them out for us before we get started.
because it's a very nice hem. Very nice hem at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And that'll give me one hem on this side. We're cutting out the last one. Last one. <laughs> last one. Woohoo! It's only taken us 75 hours. <laughs> no, look at the video. It took us like a minute. A minute. <laughs> Just a minute. Okay, so Glenna has gotten a whole lot of the curtains already hemmed up and surged now. And we have put numbers to correspond with the numbers on our drawing of where they go in the bus. This is the back of the bus and the, the bedroom area, the kitchen area. So, uh, because each one was just a little bit different. Now we have to wait because some of them will get grommets and will be put onto a hook to hang. And some of them will get little pockets in the corner with flat magnets in them and, and use just the magnets to hang. Um, each one is different. Like all the back of the bus gets just flat magnets and the, the ones that go over the opening windows will have grommets. So, each one is custom. Glenna. Waiting on Amazon to leave. That's right. We're waiting on Amazon to give us our magnets and our grommets. Glenna is a, a whiz. She's just making every one of them custom for me. She's awesome. <laughs> well, it's my first night sleeping in the bus. Scruffy and I are going to... Um, camp out tonight. <laughs> we got um, most of the curtains finished, as you can see. Got those all finished. The ones um, in the bedroom area, we're going to finish up tomorrow. I've got them up, but they're not permanently up. You can see that I've got the magnets just on them, not sewn into them. We're going to sew little pockets tomorrow in all of these and they will um, just slap up to the metal on the walls because everybody knows that in a schoolie, magnets are your friends, right? I tell you what, I have found some great, super strong magnets. The ones that I did for the hooks and the ones that are these little flat magnets that we're gonna make these, these with. <laughs> um, they are so strong. So um, I will try to put a link in my description um, for these magnets if you need some super strong ones. And the magnets that are holding this um, curtain up here, they've got the clip on them and they're super strong too. So I'll try to give you um, a, a link for those in case you're looking for some super strong magnets. But for now, Scruffy and I are gonna tell you guys good night and we'll see you in the morning. Okay, so I slept my first night in the bus and it was cozy and I loved it. And um, so this morning we're going to try to finish up all of the 
curtains that did not get grommets that will just get flat magnets in the corners. And I'm going to let Glenn explain to you how we're going to do that since she's really the talent here. <laughs> <Awesome. Okay. laughs> so we're taking just, we're using scrap material, very thin lining material, and we're just taking the magnet and it's about a one inch square. And they are small but mighty, let me tell you. <laughs> but, yeah, they will grab big time. So then we're going to make the squares. I'm just going to stitch them onto the back of where they need to be. I've already marked them on the front where they need to be. We'll just sew a square here, put it in, and then I will stitch it. Close. It will be there permanently. She can flop them anywhere she wants to on anything that's magnetic. Yep. It'll be super simple. So let's get busy. I'll show you a little bit of it as we go. And by the way, Glenna and I decided it was pajama day today. We worked hard yesterday. <laughs> we deserve it, right? Right. <laughs> it's just too much trouble to go get so, dressed. So, so we're styling our best rubs. How, what do you think? <laughs> a whole bunch of these squares. Two inches, about a two inch square so that I can cover the, the edges, yeah. cover the stitch. And I'm going to surge all of these so they're not like, I'm not folding them or anything like that. Oh, well that's a lot easier. Yeah, just going to surge them off. And you surge them so that the material doesn't ravel. It will never ravel or yeah. if you do have to wash them, it'll be fine. Okay, so Glenna's got all these little, we made, we made the little triangles, folded the triangles, and now she is surging all of these little triangles together. They won't stay together. <laughs> She's just surging the edges. We will clip them. Uh, yeah, surging all the edges to make pockets on the back of the curtain for the magnets. And then we'll just come back and cut them out. And yeah. you have your pocket. See? Got your little pocket. And we'll put the magnet inside there and stitch that across. Easy peasy. Okay, now that we have the pockets sewn on for the magnets, we've got these little thin magnets that are super strong. You, you just couldn't believe how strong they are. Um, I'll put a link in the description for them if you're interested, but we're just going to put them in the pockets like this and then sew a single seam across them and they'll hold like crazy right flat against the window um, so no light comes through so I get to sleep late. Woohoo! Going this way. Okay, so we have figured out a challenge <laughs> when you are sewing um, magnet pockets. The magnet wants to stick to the pedal of the sewing machine or to the base of the sewing machine or to the needle. <laughs> Several places so it wants to stick. It, trying to get it to move has been a challenge to move forward. I have to really pull from the back. <laughs> if you don't continuously pull, it just stops. So I'm going go slow because, because she's having to physically pull it across pull the it metal. I'll show them this, see? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> and then when she goes to cut the the strings, the threads, <laughs> the scissors are stuck to the magnet. <laughs> so you know, if you're going to use this, it's a great idea, but it it is you have to consider this. <laughs> it sticks right to it. It sticks right to it. 
But the good news is it'll stick right to your bus, too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it. To I can't get it over there. Cut. We'll get it cut eventually. You have to be really strong. All right. There, <laughs> there we, we go. go. <laughs> Done. So we finally got all of the curtains made for the bus. All put up by magnets. You know, magnets are your friend in a bus. But I love the way they lay so nice and flat. They look so good. I'm so proud of them. We still have to get our headboard built, but you know, it'll get there. But see? Isn't that great? And then when I'm ready to take them down, I can just pop them right off. I don't think I ever showed you what we were using for the magnetic hooks for the um, windows that open over here. These are just little magnetic hooks that are super strong, as I've mentioned before. And then we put little grommets on the corners of the curtains for them to hook onto. So it's really easy then to just hook it on. Well, it wants to hook up here. <laughs> and put up like this. And then the other ones over here, just clip it in and voila. Now, I also have, for the windows that don't have um, any uh, a shelf over it, I have these that we made with the little pockets that we sewed in, like this. Just little pockets. And you can just slap them up there. Super easy. And take them down. Super easy. I rarely show you guys the outside of the bus since it's always parked under a carport. So while we've got it out where you can see it, I thought I might give you a tour of the outside. We're parked out at my brother's place right now. Isn't she cute? I love the way the tinted windows make it um, so nice and black. People can't see through into the cab. And I even have my lights on right now inside the cab. We decided to take a little break and go into Johnson City to see the Christmas lights. We had been working hard and we decided we deserved it. Aren't the lights beautiful here? If you haven't ever been to Johnson City in the month of December, you should go on a weekend sometime. They have all these beautiful lights lit up and they have food vendors. They shut off the road so it's safe to walk around and look. It's really a neat experience. So Glenna is going to make me a cushion to go on top of my uh, refrigerator in the bus out of this pretty material right here. She's so good. <laughs> We've got our cushion over here already cut and ready. Used an electric knife to get that cut. 
and she's gonna whip this up for me. It's always good to have a talented sister-in-law. <laughs> you filming again? I'm filming again. <laughs> so okay. explain, explain how you're doing that. Okay, we have the top, the bottom. It's gonna be like a pillow sham on your bed. It'll be able to fold back and forth. She'll put the cushion in. It'll come back down. This is coming up. And we'll box end it. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Okay, so we got it done. Look. Looks great, doesn't it? You see the little pocket so she you can take it off and wash it if you need to. And here's what the cushion looks like on the refrigerator freezer. See, it makes a nice added seating space for our tiny little schoolie. So our time in Johnson City is finished. The curtains are done, the cushion is done and it's time to go back to our home. But it's been a really fun visit. It's always good to see family, especially if that family is helping you with your schoolie. <laughs> it's time for Scott and I to make that five hour drive though. If you haven't already done so, please consider hitting the subscribe button and give us a like and maybe even click that bell for notifications for our next video. Until then, keep it old school.